I, okay, let's go back to privileges. And if people stop like being dicks to me, then I'll stop responding about the fat privilege. Oh man, I burned my arm on the lamp. And that hair's bugging me. I gotta get it. See that? Yeah, man, ow. And a staff was nice and gave me a bra and it's strapless, which is weird. I've never worn one before. So anyway, oh, look at that red nose. I have the nose of an alcoholic. Okay, so let's talk about, oh, fuck, that really hurts, about straight privilege. Okay, so to be cisgender is to be the gender that you were born with, that you um, I can't think of words right now because my MS is acting up and my fibro and I have and I'm in pain but to believe yourself to be the gender that you were born with so quote unquote normal okay that's cis and hetero obviously it's the opposite gender so most people are cis heteros Got some potatoes stuck there. Am I good now? I went to the dentist again today, but they only worked on one tooth instead of like four. Yeah, I'm gonna blame my meds for my crappy teeth. But yeah, I, I can probably take some. Oh, fuck, that really hurts. Hang, hang on. Like I just put my arm on this lamp that I, oh man, I, not even a very strong lamp, but apparently it is. Okay, so straight privilege. Not only is the world sort of targeted for straight people, movies, books, nearly everything has a romantic plot and it's all straight. And I'm writing another book and this one's fiction. And this is the first time I've been able to write a fiction that hasn't bored me because it's the first one that isn't about me. I've tried to write my own life story several times and it bores the crap out of me. So this one isn't about me at all. And the one character that is me, if it were to be made into a movie, she'd be in it for maybe 10 minutes and that was exhausting to write that much. How the hell do I live my life if writing about it for a 10 minute part is ex oh, good hell. How do people even handle me? I'm exhausting. Like, all these stupid diseases I have and shit. Okay. Oh, I just bit my tongue. And then I keep hurting myself. So, and I didn't want mine to have a romantic plot. But then my character told me it did. And writers sound crazy. I know we do. But it works better when you let the characters write themselves. And when you have well-defined characters, they can. So the writer tells me, the character tells me that there needs to be a romantic plot. And I'm like, ugh, fine. Then she tells me that she has to end up with her best friend. And I'm like, ugh. And that's really difficult because he's really shallow. And I don't just mean that he goes for stupid skinny vapid ch chicks all the time, which he does. But, oh, hang on. Oh, I'll come back. 